Hi everybody, it's Joe Crew from FinSuite with a new FinSuite Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to do password validation with Webflow interactions and member stack. Hack 31 to 36 is focused exclusively on hacks with member stack. Member stack is the number one way to create a membership based site on your Webflow build. In this hack, we are going to have a password field, a confirmed password field, and then validate that both passwords are the same. We're gonna run a Webflow interaction if they're the same or if they're not the same, and we're going to submit the form or not submit the form based on if they are equal. This one's super cool, super powerful. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example, and we are going to look at password confirmation. We're gonna make sure that the user's entering the second password field the same as the first one. We're gonna run one Webflow interaction if the password field is not correct, it's not the same. We're gonna run a different Webflow interaction if the confirmed password field is the same. If you understand this logic of running Webflow interactions with JavaScript, you can do a lot more stuff. It's a really powerful thought process. We're doing a fairly simple integration here, and I think it will be very cool for anybody who wants a confirmed password. All right, first, let's fill this form out. Let's see how this is working. I'm gonna make my password one, two, three, four, five. And you can see right away, confirm password field is saying, we need to have the same password here. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, not five yet. And now when I go and press five, we're going to trigger a different Webflow interaction. Bam, look at that. We're now green, we've changed the underline of that confirmed password field with Webflow interactions. It's not done with JavaScript. And now when I go and remove one, password is now not the same. If I go and add the five back, it is the same. So this is one way to do it with changing the border color. You can do a lot more here. Let me open up lottieflow.com and show you what we have inside here. And if I go and do the same thing, one, two, three, four, five, you can see we are running a Lottie icon animation. Check it out. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're running a different Webflow interaction. And this Webflow interaction has a Lottie icon included. And watch as I remove one. Nope, that's not correct. Yes. It is, oh, I typed a four again. Yes, it is correct. There we go. And you can do a lot with this. You can have things come up, error messages, show text, not show text, icons. It is totally customizable as long as you know Webflow interactions. All right, we're going to get inside Designer. It's a really simple setup. Let's see how it works. We're in Designer and we are going to look at this form setup. This is a member stack form. It has all of the proper member stack data attributes. We have one extra field, which is not something that will go through member stack. It's just for our own use of the data validation. All right, first we are looking at these normal member stack fields. This is everything member stack asked you to put in. Next, we have this confirm password field. This text type is set to password. Here we are setting our member stack password field, the real one to plain, and this one is password because we don't want that visible. Member stack makes this a password field on their own. Okay, and here we have a unique ID and a unique ID. So we need to make sure that these are two different IDs to say we need the ID password to match the ID confirm password. Great. Now we need to make sure that we have our Webflow interaction set up. This is where a lot of the magic is happening with 
the changing of the border. And if you're just changing the border, hey, maybe it makes sense to just do that in JavaScript with CSS. But when you really take control of this, you work in Lottie animations, you work in showing and hiding text, we can use Webflow for this. So we have two triggers set up. They're both mouse click and one is hack 34 password no match. One is hack 34 password match. You can guess it when we are validating the data in the password and confirm password, we are going to click with JavaScript one of these divs. If the passwords match, we're going to click the password match div. If they don't match, we're going to click the password no match div. And doing that is going to run the correct Webflow interaction for us. All right, let's go through the password match inside this element trigger. We're going to go to first click, simple border color change. That's it. Again, work in the Lottie icon here. On Lottie Flow, we have a ton of success and check and suitable icons for this to really show the user that it needs to be the same or not the same. Okay, and you can see that this is correctly going to the right location. And when we go to our no match, we're going to see that this changes it to red. So that is all that's happening. We're clicking one div or the other div based on if these two input fields are the same. Let's go into JavaScript, see how all of this is working. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our member stack script and the script that is checking to see if the passwords match. Remember, you have to use your member stack script here. You cannot just copy paste from this site. The first part of the script is checking to see if they match and then running our Webflow interaction. The second part is checking if they match and then submitting or not submitting the form. And this function down here is going to set a delay when we are checking up here. Let's get in to see how all this works. First, we are checking to see if the passwords match on user input. We are targeting our password, our password confirm, and on input, on change of the input, we are going to run an if statement with our debounce function. I will explain that after the if statements. If the value of the password field, value of the password field, is equal to the value of the password confirm field, we're going to click our hack 34 password match. That is the div that's tied to the Webflow interaction that makes the field green, right? They match, great success, make it green. We're gonna click this one, runs our interaction. Else, if they are not the same, the password and confirm are not the same, we are going to run our password no match by clicking on that div. And that div runs a different Webflow interaction. If you understand this concept, if you can really take control of this concept, you have a lot of opportunity running Webflow interactions with JavaScript. This is a fairly simple one. It's a good starter. We can do more of these, suggest them inside hacks requests. Now let's get into this debounce function. We don't want to be checking for the password every single change. We want to be checking after 500 milliseconds. And the reason is, if somebody is continuously typing, we don't want it to check, 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 check. We want it to stop 500 milliseconds, similar to a timeout, and then run the check. So we have our debounce function. It is accepting this 500 millisecond value, and we are defining this function down here. And this function is making sure that we are just running after every 500 milliseconds comparing to 
compared to every character. It's a more efficient way to do this. When you check for every character, you are just running too much JavaScript when it's not necessary. Because if somebody is typing, 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 you are checking, checking, checking. When really we wanna check when they are done typing. Okay, cool. So we are running our Webflow interaction. Now we need to make sure that we're actually allowing the user to submit the form or not submit the form based on the match matching passwords. On the hack button click, the submit button click, we are going to run an if statement. If the value of our password field is equal to the value of our password confirm field, we're going to return true, which submits the form. Else, if the passwords don't match, we are going to prevent the form submit and return false. In this example, we're not running another Webflow interaction to tell them, but guess what? You can go and do that. So let's go and imagine this. We can return false and also run this click. So here, let me go up here and we will do Hack 34 uh, failed submission. Create another div, give it this failed submission class, create a new Webflow interaction, and you can have some text show or a different Lottie icon show, or it lights up a different color, it flashes, whatever you want. You are able to now run interactions with JavaScript using this simple click method. And that's it for this hack. This is everything you need to know to create these password fields and check and submit and run Webflow interactions. Super powerful, have fun with this one. Do more with JavaScript and interactions. Nice. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.